Good morning. Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Tuesday, July 9, 2013. The uh, spectacular train crash in Quebec uh, apparently has now claimed the lives of about 50 people now. Uh, more information has been revealed apparently about seven miles outside of town. Uh, there's a short stretch of track in a pine and birch forest that's used as a regular overnight stop for freight trains carrying crude oil from uh, North Dakota and other raw materials across North America. Normally before going to sleep at night, the train engineer sets the handbrakes and leaves one locomotive running so as to power the air brakes that keep the uh, train in place on a gently sloping track. The next morning, the uh, operator or another engineer starts up the train and continues on its way. At about 11.25 p.m. on Friday night, the engineer following procedure uh, parked the train with its five locomotives, leaving one operating so as to keep the brakes active and then checked into a local hotel. Five minutes later, a uh, fire alarm was called in. Excuse me, the local fire department came within four minutes doused the flames, apparently a fuel line on the active locomotive had caught fire. Uh, the firemen turned that locomotive off and then called that information into the dispatch of the railway operator. The fire department then left, everybody went back to sleep, the railway operator dispatch did nothing, but the locomotive was now off and thus the brakes slowly began to disengage. The train began to go down the track picked up speed. It was four-fifths of a mile long. Eventually it reached a speed of about 35 miles per hour, far in excess of the required speed of about 12 miles per hour on the turn upon which it jumped the tracks. The uh, train then at about 11.45 p.m. ran smack dab into a popular night spot that was populated with all of the people who are now dead. That's what happened. It's going to be quite an interesting situation to unravel. Meanwhile, the uh, hit has now hit the in international reinsurance market. According to the Insurance Insider now, uh, potential heavy losses from the runaway train are now expected to be able to uh, hit the railway reinsurance market in Lloyd's as well as elsewhere. Meanwhile, an update on Asiana flight number 214, which crashed in San Francisco over the weekend, um, the plane was apparently 500 feet up and about half a minute from landing at San Francisco International when its speed dropped considerably below the threshold needed to uh, be maintained. It was about 30 knots lower than that, which would be about uh, 40 miles per hour. If you're only traveling at about 150 miles per hour, going down to 110 is quite noticeable. In the cockpit at that time were no fewer than four pilots. It was an international flight. Typically what happens is the uh, relief crew joins the operating crew for the landing. Nothing was said until seven seconds before landing when they attempted to increase speed and execute a go around. What they were doing when the uh, slope pattern began to increase and the speed began to decrease is uh, not yet known, but the NTSB expects to find out when they start interviewing the crew today. Meanwhile, Munich Re is saying that the floods that engulfed Germany last month may have been Germany's costliest natural disaster on record. They say that the final size of the claims is not yet clear, but it's very possible it will end up being the most expensive natural cat in German history. A bomb exploded today in the suburbs of, Be suburbs of Beirut in a uh, Hezbollah-controlled area. Uh, apparently 55 people are injured. It was a car bomb. Um, this is now expected to be the first uh, uh, retaliation against Hezbollah for helping the uh, regime of President Assad in Syria. Also in southern England today, uh, air traffic has been severely restricted because of control computer problems, air traffic control computer problems. UK airspace has not been shut, but uh, flights in and out of uh, some areas such as uh, Gatwick have been affected. Apparently, the operations at the Sandwick Southampton Air Traffic Control Center have been affected. Um, it seems as if the uh, failure has uh, been centered largely on flights leaving from Gatwick to Europe, as well as uh, local flights in and out of the Channel Islands, specifically of Jersey. And lest we forget, uh, this is hurricane season. There is a tropical storm moving around the Caribbean, Tropical Storm Chantel, 
Chantel is the third named storm of the season. It's about 1,300 miles to Bermuda southeast. It's drifting west-northwest. The closest, for example, it's going to come to Bermuda, apparently, will be on Thursday when it will pass Bermuda about 840 miles away. Uh, the storm had winds of about 45 miles per hour yesterday. It's about 400 miles east-southeast of Barbados. It is not expected to strengthen into a hurricane at this time. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.